Hey guys, it's JC here and I'm bringing you another Destiny video. Uh, today we're going to go over what Xur has to offer and his stash of goody goods and exotics. And let's go ahead and get on to it. This is week 103 of Xur, I believe. Yep, yep, it's week 103. Let's see what he's got. So first he's got Emerald Coils, Void Drive, we got obviously the hem Heavy Ammo Sense, the Three of Coins, and the Glass Needles, Motes of Light. And let's see, we got the Imperial Bellicosa this week. Graviton Forfeit, Nothing Manacles, and the Universal Remote. Also, the Legacy Ingram is going to be the Body Arm, Body Armor Ingram. So, starting off with the Titan, the Imperium Bellicose. Let's see, we got as the Exotic Perk, Aiming Weapons While in the Air will hold you in a place for a short time and orbs collected while your super is full, full will recharge your melee ability. So, this is not a bad perk at all. Uh, it's basically the uh, Angel of Light for the Warlock, but on a Titan. Uh, let's see, you got the Infusion. You got Increased Intellect and Discipline, so that's a good roll for a Titan. Inverse Shadow, which is amazing. This is the best one on, you can get on a thing, on a helmet. And we got Infusion, so this is really, really a good roll. Yeah, Infusion is the best one, one of the best two. Guys, definitely, I if you're looking for the Imperial Bellicose and you don't want to pick it up, I definitely would say pick this up. I don't think this is a tier 12 build um, thing, so if you're looking for a tier 12 armor piece, it's not it. But definitely Inverse Shadow, which is the best on helmet since any kill grants you more super energy and infusion. So this is definitely a good PvE role, and a, it could be used in PvP as well. But Alright, so now for the Hunter, we got the Graviton Forfeit. Uh, we got Elusive Shadow, unlocks the Night uh, Stalker subclass node, shade stuff for free. So basically, you can run... Uh, Keen Scout, I believe Keen Scout and or Predator, without having to do um, without having to give up your Shade Step for anything. So this is a free Shade Step. You got Intellect and Strength, which is not bad for the Hunter at all. Got Inverse Shadow again, Heavy Lifting and better already. So two really good last few helmets that we looked at. Two really good helmets. Again, not a tier 12 build, but if you're looking for the Graviton Forfeit. It's back, and you probably it's probably gonna be a big role in the um, new in Rise of Iron. So definitely, I believe you should pick this up um, if you have enough strange coins. If you're saving, then you don't have to. But this is definitely a better one, the really top tier um, exotic, I believe. All right, so for the warlock, you guys are getting nothing manacles. I got discipline and strength build, and the uh, the exotic perk is scatter charge. Enables tracking for scatter grenades and holds an extra scatter grenade charge. So energy projection increased grenade throw distance. Gain bonus melee energy on grenade hits. And increased reload speed of auto rifles and reload speed of machine guns. So not bad. Um, I wouldn't say this is a top tier roll. I believe if you're going to buy this, which you sh I think you should, is get use the twist of fate. Use some glass needles for the twist of fate. And um, try to re-roll it. Maybe you rework this and you rework this too. Uh, I would try to look for like uh, more faster attack speed, which is rainbow rainbow speed or something like that. And auto rifle reloader is not really that big of a deal. Auto rifles already have a fast reload. Machine gun reloader is not bad. Machine guns do have a slow reload, so that's not a bad one. But I probably use it on hand cannons, or shotguns. Look for that kind of reloader that you would use more regularly often. So scatter charge is. I think one of the this is one of the best exotics. This is a super top tier exotic for me. Uh, I use this all the time in my warlock. I basically play now um, almost just Void Walker, and I always use nothing manacles, and or I'm using Void Fang vestments for Axion Bolt. So I'm one or two of the other trying to get the extra grenades and the and the better grenade part of it because the warlock has really really good grenades on the uh, Void Walker subclass and. Enabling that tracking for scatter range, this thing is amazing. And year one, now it's not as good as it was in year one, but it's definitely really, really good uh, now. So, it's still really, really good now. Anyways, let's go to the weapon of the week. We got the Universal Remote, which is, I don't know what to say about this gun, how it's come up from the bottom. But, got smooth ballistics, soft ballistics, CQB ballistics, you just run smooth ballistics, crowd control, hammer forge, lightweight, 
snapshot I say just run hammer forge because you know how much range means on a shotgun and the exotic perk universal remote range and precision damage increases greatly while aiming down sights so this is a really really good one um, I say this is really really good in PvE and really really good obviously everybody seen it in PvP this thing can be a wrecker now in year one this really wasn't used that much since it was the thorn the last word meta it up close the last word dominated far away the hot moon dominated and thorn dominated anywhere else <laughs> so the universal mode was really not used and the perk wasn't as good as people thought it was so they really reworked this gun and it just came back strong I think this is one of the top tier exotics in the game now I don't think it's a huge thing where you need to pick this up before Rise of Iron I don't think that's really a deal with but I say if you have strange coins to spend and you don't have this weapon I say pick this thing up because it is really really good now if you play a layback style uh, like you just snipe in the back and you don't really move up or do anything this is really not your type you're using this as a primary so using this as a primary shotgun so it's going to be in your primary slot so you're going to be rushing a lot playing that aggressive style trying to get up in people's faces and I say this is a great weapon for that but if you're just a sit back person don't I, don't, I say don't buy it but still and also the legacy ingram for the week is the body armor so it's not really the best legacy ingram but I mean if you're looking for anything in year one light levels remember year one light levels uh, and I guess that's it for the week definitely guys make sure for rise of iron pick up your heavy ammo sense uh, to rank up those faction packages obviously we know now that faction packages you'll be able to pick between weapons armor and I forgot the other one uh, I don't know weapons and armor definitely you'll definitely want a lot of heavy ammo sense to get those really fast it's starting the rise of iron and also pick up your three of coins we I'm pretty sure three of coins is gonna be back again in rise of iron so definitely all those new exotics that are gonna be in rise of iron you're gonna want to pick those up so I, I say pick those up automatically uh, and that's really it guys for this week um, hope you guys like the video uh, if you like this if you made it this far just l please like the video uh, it'll help us greatly um, I think that's it for today but definitely like and subscribe to JC gaming uh, you guys know, know what to subscribe to and thank you for the video I'll see y'all later um, see y'all JC